Yo, what is up guys, Mr. Penalunes here with another video on the CDR Final Fantasy Opera Omnia. So this video is going to be about the armor tokens exchange. So which 5 star armor should we get or should we save our guard tokens? Well, let's see. So we have Warrior of Light, Cloud, Bond, Yuna, Edge, Terra, Onion Knight, Laguna, Gloof and Balthier. So out of these, I think you don't really want the following. Warrior of Light, Yuna, they're both kind of supportish characters, they're more of a niche character, so you don't really want either of those. You're not gonna want Edge, he's also kind of a kind of a tank, kind of a support character. You basically want someone who has the potential to deal a lot of damage. Onion Knight, I don't think anyone plays Onion Knight, he doesn't seem that good either. Laguna, Laguna he might be useful in some specific situations due to his group brave attacks but you probably don't want him either and Galoof is also kind of a tank so you, you don't really want him either so what we're left with is Balthier, Terra, Vaughn and Cloud and I'm gonna explain why I picked those four but first off we should mention that 5 star armors are nice but they don't make that big of a difference and let me demonstrate so if we go and take Cloud for example we have his 5 star armor right here. So a level 20 5 star armor gives him 248 defense and a 36 attack. You do get the uh, 35 CP which means if you do have the Shinra Beta MLB you can get an extra 680 HP and obviously you're also gonna get a max brave plus 2 and 220 and an attack plus 72. However if you do have Shinra Beta MLB, this Shinra Beta gives you 454 defense. So you do lose out on the defense a bit. But check this out a level 15 Shinra Beta is 244 defense and 24 attack. A level 20 Diamond Bangle is 248 defense and 36 attack. 248 defense, 244. 36 attack, 24 attack. So the stats are really, really negligible. The difference in stats, except for the uh, for the passive, obviously you do get plus 220 max bravery and plus 72 attack. But if you think about it, compared to the weapon, the armor is not that important. The weapon is much more important. So if we go to Ogrenix, a level 20 Ogrenix has 1900 max bravery and 653 attack. So you want, you want the weapon and then the armor is nice to have but you don't get that many stats. So now that we, had, that we have that out of the way, let's go ahead and let me explain my four picks. So here we go, armor tokens exchange, which 5 star armor to get? So for the long term I recommend Vaughn and then also Terra or Cloud with a few few notes with a few considerations take in mind for Terra and Cloud. And for the short term I put there both year and we're gonna see why that is. And obviously we can also save for a different for a different character. And some that come to my mind is Qual and Zidane. Maybe mainly Zidane because he's also one of the better characters and he is one of the first ones to get his 35 CP weapon. So once that 35 CP weapon comes in and if you can get his armor as well, you can instantly get a really really strong character. Now let's go ahead and see my pick. So for Vaughn, he is top tier and he will keep being top tier in the future. So that's pretty much a no brainer. You can't really go wrong if you pick Vaughn. Now for Terra, she's a good option, although you mainly want to play Terra in the future where she actually becomes top tier. So if you go for Terra, she's going to be a little weak at first, but she gets a lot better in the future. So it's still a pretty pretty good option, but not as good as Vaughn in my opinion, because Vaughn, he is good right now, you don't need to wait. He is good now and he's gonna be good forever pretty much. With Terra, you need to wait for a bit to have her get to Vaughn's level and possibly, who knows, get even better than Vaughn, in some situation at least. Now, Cloud. He is currently top tier, so that is really nice. He is going to help you a lot. However, in time he falls behind for a while, only to make a comeback much later. So Cloud, he has some ups and downs, but he will still be useful for the most part. So 
similar to Terra, he still hits a point where he is a bit weaker, but he manages to get back stronger. Now the fourth pick, Balthier, you do get two pieces of armor from the event for him. So is he worth the ML? Because you're gonna get two more, or you're gonna be able to get two more of his armors and MLB his armor. So the MLB that will give you a plus 600 defense and plus 24 CP. I even wrote there, but we can go ahead and check his cameo belt. So we get two two pieces from um, from the event, and then we have 10 guard tokens that we can use to MLB. So if you see, well, I put the 600, but it's obviously a plus 500 because you're already gonna get to 25. So you're gonna get 500 defense pretty much. 500 defense and 24 CP, which is, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna be pretty nice. He is gonna have the MLB armor. And you're also gonna get max bravery and attack, which are also really nice stats. So what, what does that mean? And also I, I mentioned here that if you do go for MLB Balthier, you probably want to MLB both his armor and the weapon. Because at the end of the day, the weapon is what is important. If you don't have his MLB weapon and you have his MLB armor, his MLB armor is not gonna do anything for you. So you need the MLB weapon first to be worth it to get his MLB armor. And if you do manage to get them, that means that Balthier is going to be one of the strongest characters in the game, at least until 35 CPU weapons come out. So for about two months, let's say, he is going to be really strong if you should decide to MLB both his armor and weapon. It appears, however, that in the future, Balthier is one of the worst characters. That's what we see on the Japan tier list. He is one of the low rated, lowest rated characters. He's got like 57 out of 100. That's abysmal. So even though he can potentially be the strongest for a few months, he will start falling down afterwards and he is just gonna be really bad. So it's a, it's kind of a, it's kind of a, it's not really a gamble. It's a, you know, it's, it's short term. It's gonna be really strong, but then he is really bad. And then finally, what did I choose to do? So personally, I choose to save. I want to be able to MLB the armor of a top tier character once we get 35 CP weapons. So I want to save at least 20 guard tokens just to be able to instantly buy 4 pieces of 5 star armor and MLB that one armor force for someone that I'm gonna use a lot. And he's gonna be really good. So when we get more guard tokens, I might decide to buy at least one piece of armor for the characters that I've mentioned as long as I use them. We might also get other good characters so we can look out for that as well. But generally I would get armor in this order. First off I would get the armor for the strongest character that I have. My main my main co-op character in, in other words. Let's say it's Vaughn. I probably should go and grab one piece of armor for Vaughn since he is the main co-op character. I'm gonna be playing him a lot, right? And on the other in the other content of the game, I still need three people and Vaughn he's also gonna make that team. So it only makes sense that you take that you buy armor first for your co-op character. That's one of the one of the main characters that you're going going to use in the game. Then second the second half obviously you want armor for two good characters that you're going to use in your main party. So you use these two characters along with your main co-op character with whom you're you're going to clear most of the content in the game. And finally I put here you're gonna want to get armor for niche characters for specific content. So say Yuna, Warrior of Light, and so on and so forth. These characters help you deal with specific difficult content in the game. But there you have it guys, that's it for my opinion on the um, armor tokens exchange and what we should do. There are four really good choices in my opinion. You can't really go, you can't really go wrong. Well, at least three choices. Cloud, Vaughn and Terra are really good choices. Balthier, he's a good choice for short term, but then, yeah, he's not that great long term. There you have it, guys. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching. I shall see you next time. Have a good one. Take care.